All right, guys, welcome back to part two of the draft. I think we're going ahead and select eh, about, you know, seven, eight, ten more players. And then we're going to go on ahead and uh, just fast forward to the rest of the end. All right, now it is our pick again. We got our, our, our uh, cornerback last time. Let's see if we can get ourselves another good cornerback. See who's available. D'Angelo Hall is still available. We're going to go with D. Hall. He's got good speed, man. He's got good man coverage. So, um... I think that right there is a good solid pick. Let's see who else is available. I still need some D tackles. I need the Cardinals. some safeties as well. So we need some safeties. We need some D tackles. Let's see who's available at safeties. I definitely like the two corners that I got. Harrison Smith. I need somebody that can go ahead and bring the lumber. Who's hitting hard? Who is hitting hard though? Break sh Brock Shed is, is, you know, power, hip power. Who's got the most hip power? Shiloh Key. Eric Reed, the rookie. The rookie from the Niners with the 82 overall, though. Yeah, let me go with my boy Eric Reed, though. Let me go with the rookie. Uh, may maybe it's because of my 49er heart, man, but let me go on there and snatch up that rookie one, one time, though. All right, we're we'll bringing the number. Next, I'm going to go to uh, free safety. I'm going to look for the same thing, man. Somebody that can hit hard. You know, somebody that can drive the ball loose. Not even meaning fumbles. Just somebody catch the ball. Somebody that can hit hard enough to uh, force an incomplete pass. Because the computer on all Madden will dot you up all day, every day. So, um, Eric Reed should definitely be a big part of the defense. Just being able to jar some balls loose, man. Even if it's, you know, one or two a game, those could be important, you know, um, important opportunities to go on ahead and get ourselves the ball back. You never know. On a third and seven, they may pass the ball over the middle. Eric Reed is there. Bam! Lays the lumber, forces a drop pass or a fumble. That can change the game. So we're definitely looking for people that can go on ahead and hit hard. And Eric Reed, good pick. Rookie. A lot of potential ahead of him. All right. Let me see who, who we got available at free safety. Who's who's hitting hard at a uh, strong safety, I should say. Excuse me. Who's hitting hard over here? Who is hitting hard? Oh, let me make sure. Okay, okay, okay. I, th I thought pretty sure he was a free safety. Damn, we got some people that hit hard over here. Jonathan Cyprian. We got Mike Mitchell. Who's the best overall guy here, though? Ah, these guys' overalls ain't that great. Yeah, but nobody's overall is that great. You know, let's go ahead and get a running back then. See who we got available. We need somebody to run the ball. We'll just make Sean Green. Brandon Jacob. We're just going to go ahead and get... Uh, I was going to say DeMarco Murray, but he is no longer here. All right, he took DeMarco Murray. I just want somebody with some speed. He, he was a good hybrid back. Felix Jones, Mike Goods. Oh, DeMarco Murray's still there. Maybe I, I, I was bugging and I missed him. All right, we're going to go with DeMarco Murray. Definitely feel like that's a good steal, especially in the 13th round, you know, to be able to get a running back with um, the intangibles that he has. So, all right, I'm definitely liking that. I think our offense is set. We have a good running back. We have ourselves good wide receivers, a, a very good tight end. Let's go ahead and get this strong safety out of the way. Just looking for somebody that, that can, who can hit the hardest out of this group right here. Oh, did I miss it? Hit power. Uh, the best is uh, Darian Stewart. Matt. Oh, yeah, let's go with Elam. Let's go with Elam. Okay, let's go with the Rooks. Let, let's go with Reed and Elam. One, two punch. Two rookies that's going on ahead and that's capable of bringing the lumber, though. Okay, I'm definitely feeling that so far. I am definitely feeling that. So, right now, we got two guys doing. Um, that can hit hard from the safety position. Definitely like that. We got, you know, two good corners. We got good linebackers. We got two good guys on the edge. Uh, I like what we got to offer so far on defense. You know what I mean? I definitely like what we have available, you know, to go on ahead and, uh, and, and bring. You know, all we're looking for is some stops on defense, man. And if we can go on ahead and get that, I definitely feel like our offense is good enough to make plays. I'm excited. I'm definitely liking the team so far. Like, I definitely want... Uh, Kaepernick to go on ahead and like lead the league in passing yards in only six minute corners. You know what I mean? I uh, make my selection. All right, now they're picking fullbacks. 
I don't really run out of uh, fullback type sets, so we wouldn't really. Let me just for just for curiosity, who's available here? Brandon Whedon, David Carr, Vince, my boy Vince, and a whole bunch of other guys. Okay, I know I haven't picked any linemen yet, so my line is gonna suck. Uh, let's take a look at D tackle. See if we got anybody. Worth putting at D tackle. I just I just need somebody big, man. 336, 335. Sean Rogers. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get Sean Rogers and Terrence Cody, yo. These are two just big meatball grinder eating. Eat a chicken leg and then pick their teeth with that little little whatever the hell that is with the chicken leg. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. That little stick that it's a long ass toothpick looking thing. It's big old hungry boys, man. That's what I need. Now, now let's get Sean Rodgers, man. They're going to plug up that middle like there's no tomorrow. Let's go, Sean Rodgers. Rodgers, where you at, my man? Why don't they get these two big beef cake eating? Yo, these dudes are just huge. Oh, man. We done got two big boys up the middle with Super Mario and Jordan on the outsides. With Kerrigan. And we also have um, Patrick Willis. Woo! I'm so excited. I think we're going to be able to ring the lumber, folks. I think we are going to be able to go on ahead and bring the lumber. Oh, man. Our defense is looking fantastic. I definitely like what we got going on with our offense. We got DeMarco Murray. We got Colin Kaepernick. We got Des Bryant. We got Tavon Austin, Randy Momo. We also got uh, Gronkowski. I am digging what we got going on here, fellas. I'm liking it. I think we're going to go just pick up to uh, to 20 picks and then fast forward this bad boy. All right, guys. So we got a couple more picks left that we're going to go on ahead and get. Um, let's go on ahead and get. Um, I don't even know what positions to get, honestly. I feel like our defense is good. Let's go on ahead and get a right linebacker just because we don't really need one. I'm never really going to use one. But uh, Junior Gillette. No, let's let's go with uh let's go with Junior. We're gonna put him on the right side. You no, know, for the most part, I stay in dime and nickel. So I'm probably gonna have one linebacker or two. Usually. I don't I don't really run uh four or three or anything like that. So um all right, a couple more picks. We're gonna go on ahead and fast forward this bad boy so you guys can look at the, the final team that we got looking up that we got looking. All right. I got pretty much every starter I need on defense. So let's see if there's somehow another steal on wide receiver. Andre Roberts, Cecil Shorts, TJ Graham, Chris Givens, Amendola. Eh, eh, nobody, eh, you know. Harry Douglas, homeboy was on my fantasy team this year. Eh, nobody really. And that, you know, we're going to go ahead and go with Amendola. We're going, we're going to snatch up Amendola. A little, a little slow possession receiver. We're going to go on ahead and snatch him up. And a uh, couple more picks now. We're going to go on ahead and head out. I'm going to go on ahead and get myself a kicker. And I'm going ahead and get myself a punter. And that will be it. You know, you got to be able to kick long field goals and punt. Because on all Madden, you will be kicking field goals. You will be punting. So why not go on ahead and select the best? So. I'm, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to get this team going. The overall for my Vikings was 82, I believe. 82. So, and that was towards the end of the season. That was obviously when A.J. Green was upgraded to like a 99 and, you know, things like that. So, I'm not sure what overall this team is going to be. But I, I definitely feel like this team is well, more well-rounded than the Vikings. You know what I mean? Even though I don't have any offensive linemen. But um, I feel like defense were a lot better. A lot better. Offensively, I feel like we're a lot better. You know, we have a quarterback that can throw the ball better. We have wide receivers. You know, my wide receivers are better. Right, let's go on ahead and get our kicker. And then punter. I didn't need somebody who can boot the ball. Damn, they started taking kickers already? Damn it, man. Let's find out. I'll get Greg the leg. Welcome back, homie. Welcome back with your 99 kick power self. <laughs> Welcome back. 
All right, now we're going to go on ahead and get ourselves a punter. And uh, that is very important, especially I know I'm at him. At special teams, you will be doing a lot of it. Trust me. <laughs> All right, so let's go on ahead. Let's go on ahead and get this punter. Let's see who's available. I just need kick power. 97 from Matt Bosher. What's his overall? 90. You got yourself a boot. Welcome to the team. All right, guys, we're going to go on ahead and fast forward all the way to the end of the draft, and we will go on ahead and uh, talk about the team then. What up, guys? Welcome back. We're going to go on ahead and show you our final roster, guys. Let's see who we went ahead and got. I fast forward, skipped all of the uh, the preseason. Matter of fact, let me go on ahead and put injuries back on. I believe I got to put that back on. League settings. Injuries on because again, if somebody gets hurt, man, you got to learn how to deal with it. Uh, okay, we will be looking for minis roster. Let's take a look at our depth chart. Hopefully, uh, the computer drafted some good folks for us. All uh, right, we know we got Colin Kaepernick, then we have DeMarco Murray, then we have Henry Hypnosis, <laughs> we got Des Bryant, Randy Momo, Ty Vaughn, Austin, Donnie Amendola. Definitely good four wide receivers, man. I'm uh, and Gronkowski, so I feel like I'm gonna be able to throw the ball very well. Offensive line, let's see what they got for us. 78, 81. Definitely different from the uh, the guys I had in Minnesota. Garrett Reynolds. All right, you know, could could have been worse. At least I didn't get a bunch of 60s there. We got Mario Williams on the left. We got Cameron on the right. Then we got two of the biggest, baddest meat eating folks <laughs> up the middle. We got Kerrigan. We got Patrick Willis, and then we got Junior on the on the right. We got Smith and Hall followed by Shabunkin and Greenwood, and two hard hitting guys in uh, Eric Reed and Matt Elam. I think I should probably switch them around. No, no, we'll leave it the way it is. All right, man, that right there is the team. Let's go ahead and take a look at our team overall. See what we're working with. Let's see what we're working with. Play game. And we are in in 81. Okay, okay, can't complain. I actually did pretty good. My Jets, I was like a 78. And we had a way later pick here than I did with the um, with the Jets. But that's it, guys. I can't wait for week one. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. That's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace. Give it to the baby.